Now, when it comes to pathology, it's kind of different because pharma kind of builds. So, like, you take the first chapter, it helps you a bit with the other chapter because it's physiology and mechanisms. But in pathology, it's just literally a bunch of diseases with descriptions underneath. So you have a pathology and you have for each pathology or each disease, you have um, the name of it, the etiology, the mechanism, the, phys the pathophysiology, the microscopic appearance, the radiographic appearance, the clinical appearance, symptoms, prognosis, treatment, so many, the list goes on. So if you wanna learn every single pathology and you wanna learn all the details about each pathology, you're basically gonna to have to learn a thousand page book. And imagine you learn that, you can't review it, you won't be able to retain it. So the thing about pathology is you have to know what's important about each disease. So for example, one disease could be, what's the most unique thing about it is its clinical features. Another disease could be its radiographic features. Another one could be microscopic and radiographic. Another one could be its diagnosis. And one, another one could be its treatment. So you wanna know what they want from you in a way. So they might, what, um, there's questions that come more about treatment of this disease or diagnosis of that disease. So that's what you want to do. You don't have to learn everything about every disease, but you want to learn is specific things about each disease. Now, to, for beginners, if they want to start this process, what they should do is first, they should start making a list, create a list of all the diseases. And then they just write the name, and, and every time they hear or they come across a new disease, they just add it to that list. And then they could add one unique feature to each disease and just write it beside the disease. Do that. And whenever you come across another disease that you didn't learn, add it and add a unique feature. Now, the, the difficult part is to remembering the disease name and what it's really about. So what you want to do is you could wake up every morning, you know, invest maybe 15 minutes for pathology to review that list. You don't have to finish the list. It's not going to finish in 15 minutes, but you get through as much as you can, and then you continue the next day. And if you keep doing that, all these names of the diseases, they become like a table of contents in your in your memory it's like a, a library and all you have to do next is start adding more features to each disease um, so that's what i would recommend for pathology and for pharma you could do something similar for drug names so you could put a bunch of drugs every morning you wake up and, and review maybe 15 minutes to see do you know what this drug is do you know what that drug is same strategy